All right, daily routines for first grade unit seven. We're gonna to continue to build automaticity now with our make a 10 facts, specifically in our subtraction um, equations, which tend to be more difficult for students. So I'm gonna start with boys and girls say it with me. 14 minus nine equals unknown is the same as nine plus an unknown number equals 14 or just a number. You could say it either way. Now, some students might benefit from also having the math mountain on the screen and showing that 14 is my total and nine is one of the partners and we're looking for the other partner. So I can read it 14 minus nine, which would be like 14 minus nine equals unknown, or I can read it nine plus unknown equals 14. But putting it on the math mountain might help students if they're struggling to see this connection of when I wanna subtract nine, I can actually turn it around, make it an addition equation, and now add on. So we're gonna go ahead and add on now. I would say nine and how many more make a 10? Let's count up from nine to 14. Nine and one make a 10. Boys and girls, if I'm already at a 10, how many more do I need to get to 14? Let's think about it. 10 and what goes with 10 to make 14? Class four, you're right. 10 and four make 14. Boys and girls, we're gonna add on four more. Boys and girls, how many did we add up all together? We have four and one, which means all together we added class five. Boys and girls, four, um, nine plus five equals 14. 14 minus nine equals five. Now we're going to go, you can continue that. Oh, I grabbed my pen. There we go. Um, you can continue that for several more examples. Let's just do one more just for um, fluency sakes. Boys and girls, read it with me. 17 minus nine equals unknown. That's the same as class nine plus unknown equals 17. Let's put it on a math mountain. My total is 17. My partner is nine. What am I looking for? An unknown partner. Boys and girls, let's count on from nine to find 17. Nine and how many make a 10? One, you're right. Boys and girls, now we've made a 10. How many goes with 10 to make 17? Class? Seven, you're right, 10 and seven make 17. So boys and girls, we're gonna add seven more. Count with me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boys and girls, how many did we add all together to nine to make to 17? Boys and girls, how many? Class, eight. We have seven here and one in the circle. We have eight we added up all together. Let's read it together. Nine plus eight equals 17, which is the same as 17 minus nine equals eight. Boys and girls, we can also count on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We're right. Now you'll continue that as you keep going as we get into our eight partners. So boys and girls, how many go with eight to make a 10? Class two, they'll drag and drop two, but continue to use that finger flashing help. We're at 10, how many more do I need to get to 14? Four, let's finger flash it, 10 and four make 14. And as you continue to do that, it will help students um, to do this type of addition subtraction. So you have eights, then you come back to nines and you have some eights again. Um, and so you'll continue to see that pattern repeat and then you get to telling time and revisiting our time. So um, boys and girls, let's try. What time do I write in the digital clock? Class, 12 o'clock. Boys and girls, what does the green hand show? Class, and they should say, 12 is the hour. Boys and girls, what does the blue hand show? The blue hand is the minutes. There are zero extra minutes. Boys and girls, what time is it? 12 o'clock. Boys and girls, what time do I write in the digital clock? Think about it, thumbs up when you know. Class, 12.30. Boys and girls, why is the green hand between the 12 and the one? Think about it. 
Boys and girls, whisper to your neighbor why it's between the 12 and the one. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Class, Sarah or whoever, right? Because it's halfway between 12 and one, which means it's halfway between the hours of 12 and one. When we make it to 30, we're halfway around the clock. So any variation of that you can accept. Boys and girls, why is the blue hand pointing at the six? Class, turn and talk really quickly. Boys and girls, why? It's because six is halfway around the clock, which 30 minutes is halfway around an hour. So six shows me I'm at 30. It's half past that number. So we continue there. Boys and girls, what time do I write in the digital clock? Class, one o'clock. Boys and girls, what does the green hand show? Class, the hour hand. The hour is one o'clock. Boys and girls, what does the blue hand show? The minute hand, there are zero extra minutes. Okay, so you'll continue that um, as you refresh all of your time and then look, you come back and now you have, you mix it up. You have where um, you'll do a make a 10 with a nine, make a 10 with an eight and a clock. Make a 10 with a nine, make a 10 with an eight, make a 10 with our um, telling time on the clock. So all of this is intended to build fluency with skills that we know that our first graders need a lot of support with. Have fun. <music>